so guys in this video i'm going to show you how we turn this black boring background to this amazing looking background using a few couple of png files that i'll be sharing with you for free in the description this png files will be almost useless if you don't watch through this video to see how they are being blended into the background to get this beautiful realistic looking background so with no further ado follow along and let's get started this was the before and this is the amazing after i'm going to delete everything we did here and we are going to go through the whole process step by step in this video the first thing we are going to do is to select the subject from the background how do we do that you duplicate the background layer by dragging the background to this plus icon down here and rename it subject after doing that you select the subject from the background since it's a black solid background color it's it will be very easy to use the select subject here to select the subject from the background so click on select subject after the select subject must have selected the subject from the background you come down here and click on the add layer marks now whatsoever is added below this subject background will appear only on the background without affecting the subject so the first thing we are going to do is to go to the folder where this file you've just downloaded is if you have not downloaded it already just watch through the video to see how it's done before going on to download the files and then trying it out yourself and coming back to check one or two things so the first file we are going to bring in is islamic craft joint uh background file you drag it here and then you resize to fit now the floor of the background is showing if we leave it like this is going to make the subject look very far from the background but that is not what we are aiming for so you zoom out and then you increase the size of this background to shift the subject back into the background until it's well placed somewhere around this position now you click on ok now you fit this on screen the next thing you are going to do is see that the background is as focused as the subject which is not realistic at all if you are using any uh modern professional kind of lens to shoot you see that uh, your background will be sharper than the subject so how do we create that in this manipulation tutorial why on the uh, slammy craft joint background image go to filter blow gaussian blow and blow at the radius of two just a little bit of blow since the subject is not so far from the uh, background so two is okay now click on ok the next thing we are going to do is we are going to drag this grunge cracked wall file and bring it into photoshop now you resize accordingly and click on ok the next thing we are going to do is to change the blending mode to soft light and then reduce your opacity to around 30 this crack is going to create some realistic uh, kind of effect texture effect on the background and make it look more realistic so you can see how beautiful this is on the background you can max it out of uh, areas that it should not affect like the leaf make sure your foreground is black and then one on your layer max you paint to remove this from the leaf exactly like this and that's okay now you fit on screen the next thing we are going to do now is uh this yellow gel light hitting high here we can recreate it on the background make it look like there's a yellow side light <coughs> here that is hitting her so you just come to this gradient tool on the gradient to make sure you're on the radial gradient create an empty file and then 
you sample colors similar to the color of the gel, which is this color here. And then you drag like this towards the subject. Then you change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. Something around this. This was the before. This is the after. If I now create a layer max, take your brush and paint this softly away from the area you know it should not affect something like this. It's very soft too, but very effective to make everything look realistic. This was the before. This is the after. The next thing we are going to create is uh, we are going to create a layer that will make sure our image doesn't break when being uploaded to social media. How do you create that? You come here, create a new layer, and make sure you use the menu bar here to create this layer, new layer, and then change the blend mode to overlay antique, fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray. Now click on OK. Now come to filter, noise, add noise, and the amount should be 7. Now click on OK. This was the before, adding it, this is the after. Now come to filter again, blow, Gaussian blow, and blow it by 0 0.2. Now click on OK. Now you fit on screen. Let's take a general look at the overall before and after. This was the before. This is the after. If you are wondering how I went on to retouch this image, uh, you can see a link at the top right corner of this video to my frequency separation method, to my full retouching method. You can go on and watch that video right now. So finally, you press Ctrl Shift Alternate E on your keyboard to create a stamp visible layer. And then something that might break your image after all this hard work is the method you use to save it. So the best method to save this image now is to come to File, Export, Save for Web. Make sure your setting corresponds to all of this. Embedded Color Profile. The preview should be monitor color. I come down here and make sure the quality is on by cubic sharper to make sure the image comes out sharp and crispy. And also, the image size that would depend on where you are saving your image to. If it's on Instagram, if you are uploading to Instagram, or if you are uploading to Facebook or WhatsApp, they have different uh, image sizes that are optimal for those platforms. So you can Google that out or check out YouTube channel for a video that fully dedicated to that. So one thing you should make sure is all right for all images you are going to upload to the internet. You make sure the quality is by cubic sharper to make sure the image comes out sharp. And when you are sure that all this is okay, now you click on save. Save it to the folder where you want a rename and then click save to save it. Since I've saved it before, you can see the save background, manipulation, replace, now replace, and, and that's it. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, uh, leave your appreciation in the comment section. The more appreciation we get, the more motivated we are to make more helpful tutorials that we boost your overall retouching game and give you more clients and make you more money. All you have to do is just leave a comment so that we'll be motivated to put more free tutorials out and even give you what we bought for free on this channel happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial